common enemies. Terrorists, fundamentalists, fanatics. The units were a go. He's on the move! Keep going, keep your eye on the target. Next one's for you, General. The court sentences you to spend the rest of your life in prison. You are the puppets of NATO, and the US, I pass sentence on you! You're a common thug. Then your man Petrovich will be joining you shortly. It is Petrovich who is closing in on you. Tell Petrovich I'm coming for him. Welcome aboard, Madam President. Thank you, Colonel Walsh. Have a pleasant flight. Washington Central, we now have multiple systems alerts. Force One, respond! Air Force One is in a rapid descent. Think fast. Pull up. It was my unit who captured Air Force One and crashed it into the sea. Not everyone on board was killed. You're sure they're local police? They do seem rather methodical. That's what they want, an exchange of hostages, me for Dragutin. Some of our greatest US presidents have been murdered in office. It would be an honor to join them. My friend, my hero, my comrades in arms. Where are the rest of my people? The ones who were flying with me. President, go, 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 run! We have the president. Tell them to launch. Ten, nine, eight. Impact. Target neutralized. Synchronizing arming codes. Engaging the next counter on my mark. Angles to Black Hammer 7. Acknowledge. Proceed. Target area clear for light bombing run. Angles to Black Hammer 7. Radar contact 0. Infrared target 0. 3, 2, 1, mark. Acknowledged, Engel. Commencing bombing round. Victor correct. Approach good for bombing round. Start the intercept. I knew English. One minute to target now.
releasing bombs. Captain, bomb bay doors are opening. Engage emergency override. Engels, this is Black Hammer 7. We are aborting bombing rounds. Repeat, aborting bombing rounds. We're showing multiple system failures. Who the hell? Black Hammer 7, do you read me? Initiate emergency override. Put system down. She won't respond. Acknowledge Black Hammer 7. We reduce me to 1100. Descend to 10,000 meters, bearing 41 degrees. Good. Eject the crew. Eject the activation. Telemetry is offline. What is your status? Cutting afterburners. Engaging autopilot. Okay. Good. ETA 505. Excellent work, Captain. The pit doesn't take very long to fill up. I'm sure we don't have to be here much longer. No. No. Okay. You can do it again. No. I'll do it. Okay. I, I can't. I can't do this anymore. He put them down the well in their underwear. <laughs> Amazed she could fit. Russian women have such huge asses. I have to piss. Hope everything comes out all right. Quick as I could. Was that a missile strike we had? Yeah, we're playing a little game of uh, moving target. The Gruden gave me his tracking device. Here, yeah, no fun and games. Where'd you get these clothes? Well, 
some story. I overheard a couple of Gruton's goons talking about you, so I knew you were close. It doesn't take very long to fill up. I'm sure we don't have to be here much longer. I have to piss. Hope everything comes out all right. So, would you get a hold of Featherston's boss? Yeah, for all the good it did. She thought I was a prank caller. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. I, uh, rather blotted my copybook a few months back. Oh, right. Well, now he tells me. Blotted it how? I was set up by the Russians, as it happens. I was running an FSB agent named Irena Burak. Well. Irena spun me a yarn about hardliners in the FSB who thought Defense Minister Kaczynski was too cozy with the West. She told me they planned to kill him and seize power in Moscow, and I believed her. Seize power? How? How about this? By starting a new war in Serbia, by assassinating the Russian cabinet, with the world in crisis and ethnic wars in Russia's backyard, there'd be panic in Moscow. A strong man steps in to restore order. Everyone's grateful. Dragutin's friends in the Kremlin take power. Sounds like your friend Irina was right on the money. That's why the FSB wanted me dead. So I wouldn't repeat what Irina had told me. Okay, except that this is all just bullshit. The FSB is not helping Dragutin. Well then who blew your cover? We need to get word out that the general's still alive and he's planning something big. We've tried the Brits, we could try the UN. We should try the Americans. If Roundtree hey, survived, then I'm she sorry, could... I'm sorry, did I miss the part where we decided to put you in charge? Look, your people sold you out once already, and I'm not going to hey, give them the hey, opportunity hey, to do that. quiet. You hear that? Go, go. American, it's Russian. It's a blackjack stealth bomber. What? Dragutin must have hijacked it the same way he did Air Force One. How is he doing it? Okay, well, what, what's its payload? What weapons does it carry? Battlefield thermobaric warheads. Oh, crap. Sorry, thermo what? Daisy cutters, fuel air weapons. Power of a nuke, none of the fallout. Oh, good God. They're gonna have to refuel and refit before it can take off. How long does that give us? Not long. Maybe we could contact Kaczynski. If this coup d'etat happens, he'll be the first in line for a bullet, I and mean, he's probably the one man in the Kremlin that we can trust. I'll call Kaczynski. Come on, there's a farmhouse near the castle. The farmer and I are old friends. There was a minor fracture, but no internal bleeding or intracranial pressure. When is she likely to come around? A few hours. She'll be concussed and will have a hell of a headache. We need to talk to her, Major. Dragutin's dead, but his men are still a threat. Sorry, Colonel. The President has to recover in her own time. now. The TU-160 is fitted with stealth technology, Minister. It is designed to be undetectable, even by orbital satellites. But surely you can follow his last known trajectory. I think we should look here in Serbia.
bombs are here intact, and we have a set of arming codes for both warheads. Okay. Uh, this one. Then we place the canopies and wire the relay into the countermeasure console. All right, so all the pieces are in place. And I have the best seat in the house. The Dragotin's men now possess two former barrack warheads. They cannot use them, Minister. The bombs have separate encryption codes. You're telling me that they can hack into this plane's navigation system, but they can't crack the codes to arm those warheads? Boom. Okay. The relay unit has been wired to the transmitter. Rachid can activate it from the cockpit. Good work. Thank you, General. <laughs> Where am I? Madam President. Where am I? You're safe. You're at Landstuhl, the U.S. military hospital in Germany. I need a phone. You need to rest. You have concussion. Ugh, will my brains fall out if I get up? No, ma'am, but I don't recommend that you... <laughs> get me a phone. Now. Good afternoon. Dreadfully sorry to bother you. I don't. My wife and I were touring your lovely country when our car broke down, and we were wondering whether we might use your telephone. You go back where you came. You know, you really aren't helping your tourist industry. Minister. It's Nadia Sieri. Can, can you talk? Agent Sieri. They told me you died in the Air Force One. I'm relieved to know that they were wrong. Thank you. <laughs> so am I. Sir, have, have we by any chance lost a stealth bomber? Have you seen it? Yeah, it's, it's here, northeast Serbia. Arcadia Dragutin's controlling it. I thought Dragutin was dead. The Americans said they killed him with a cruise missile. Yeah, well, they missed. He's holed up with his men in a castle about eight kilometers from here. Except I'm not exactly sure where here is. You're extraordinary, Aiden Siri. I always knew that. Let me pass this along to my... Uh, sir. I was, uh... I was betrayed to Dragutin. Someone in the FSB blew my cover. They've been helping him. And I, I, I believe your life's in danger too. Please, you, you need to be careful. Thank you for the warning, Aiden Siri. Okay, listen. We have a team at the Black Sea. They can reach the northeastern Serbia in 90 minutes. We can do it. Leave the phone off the hook. I'll contact people I trust and have them trace your call and send in the Spitznas unit. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me yet, Agent Siri. Stay there and stay safe.
So, how come you have a hotline to Dmitry Kaczynski? Come on, Nadia. We don't have too many secrets left. Yeah. He recruited me out of college. It's, it's kind of his protege. How did he get you on board Air Force One? Ah, of course. Your people have someone high up in the news network. <laughs> Tell me more about that girl, Irina. You, you two are friends? Is that why they posted you out here? I neglected to pass on information about a Russian intelligence operative. I can't make that mistake again. If you want to blow my cover, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's not personal. Exposing a, a, a Russian sleeper in the US media with access to Air Force One? I mean, that, that'd be one hell of a coup. To rescue your career. It's okay, Featherstone. I'm compromised anyway. Won't make that mistake again. Have we any idea how Dragutin's people managed to hack into our flight control system? He would need a mainframe the size of a truck and an army of software engineers. Madam President, we're getting an urgent request for a conference call from Moscow. It's Defense Minister Kaczynski. Minister Kosinski. Madam President, I'm pleased to see that you're safe. But I have bad news. One of our stealth bombers is missing. And we believe Dragutin has taken it. Are you telling me Dragutin is still alive? With just one warhead from that plane, Dragutin could wipe out an entire city. You know you are already hero of Greater Serbia, Captain Ajic. You know what you must tell the enemy. They will not hold you long. I won't fail you, General. Good luck. So Lieutenant Markey. Lieutenant Markey! Marky! How long I sit here, I need peace. Oh, go ahead. You couldn't smell any worse.
field craft. Are you trying to get Rutan's attention? Oh, I just thought if I made enough noise, maybe you'd find me before they did. Uh, go back to the farmhouse, Featherstone. Okay? You know, it wasn't hard to work out where you'd gone. I just thought, what would be the most boneheaded, suicidal course of action at this point? Of course, to go back for Dragutin single-handed. Marky, there is a Russian Spesnaz unit on the way. Are you worried they'll hoggle the glory? No, I'm worried they'll flatten the castle, and I need to bring Dragutin back alive. Why? What is this about, Marky? You know what? You can come with me, or you can stay behind. It really doesn't matter to me. Marky! Who were they? What? Who were they? The soldiers and kids in that photograph. They were people. They were people I was supposed to protect. During the war? Yeah. Yeah. When my brigade came here, they... They fed us, they treated us like... Saviors. We got them out of their houses. We played football with the kids. De Gruten killed thousands of his own people. While the UN stood by and, and watched and did nothing. I did nothing. So, Draguten has got to rot in prison. I need to take him back alive. We will, Mark. You stay out of Serbia. The Ragutin once made peace. Okay, killing all your neighbors does not count as making peace. They'd find you. The Ragutin listen on phone. The Ragutin hear everything.
told the general not to leave you in that pit. I said with a bitch like you, there is only one way to make sure. Nice timing. All systems checked. Fuel pressure okay. Switching to onboard computer. All level screen. Ready for takeoff. All set. Figured he must have cut the line. It means Kaczynski couldn't have traced the call. So much for backup from the Russians. Damn it. So Putin said he, he wanted to rip the heart out of Europe. That could be London, Paris, Berlin. That satellite. That's how they're controlling the planes. It must be. They won't be expecting us. Now you want to do the boneheaded suicidal thing? <laughs> well, you're suggesting that the three of us just storm Dragutin's castle? We don't have a lot of options, Romero. Your people aren't coming. It's us or nobody. Shit. Any of this look familiar? I didn't see much. Just a medieval castle on a mountaintop. Given the range of Air Force One, you were probably being held here, in the Dinaric Alps. Based on where we found you and where we dropped Dragutin, we have a 1,000 square mile search grid. Pack the laptop and the hard drives. Wire the rest with explosives and put the Englishmen in the crate. They're moving out. Let's hope they haven't destroyed the equipment before they leave. I'll take this. A taser? It's silent. If they hear shots, they'll know where we are. You guys take the control room. I'll keep them busy. Go, go, go. And stay there.
For God's sake, we're going to die up here. Let me go. Come on, listen, there's shit going on out there. Why can't you untie me? Please! Let me go! Let me go! Don't shoot. I did... I did everything you said. Please, we're gonna die up here. Let me go! Come on! I, I did everything you asked for. Oh my god. You see that? They're gonna burn us to death up here. We're gonna burn to death. <laughs> don't, don't shoot, I'm not with them. Milos! Captain Marky! You're still with us! Where are your friends? I'm going for help! Thought I'd give you and Arky the chance to surrender before the Americans wipe this place off the map. I don't think so! Open the gates, please! What's the big hurry? Open the gates or we'll burn you out of there. How about this? You hand over to Guten, I'll open the gates. <laughs> you do the same for you, Milos. Enough of this. Go. Where's Dragutin? Dragutin's gone. Who's controlling that bomber? Ratchich, their pilot. He's flying it. You're British. What the hell are you doing here? My name is Mackenzie. I'm a programmer. A hacker. helped them hack into Air Force One and that Russian bomber. Oh God, I am so sorry. I didn't know what they were planning. Oh my God. What the, what the hell happened to your hands? They pulled my thumbnails out when I didn't do what they said. After that, please, just get me out of here. I will go to prison, I don't care. It's going to be okay. Now listen, we need you to help us take over that plane. Ready for transmission, General. This is weird. He switched off the countermeasures. And I'm picking up 
a video signal. Citizens of Europe, leaders of NATO, I am General Arkady Dragutin, head of the Army of Greater Serbia. Today, you pay the price for your crimes against my people. Dragutin's on that plane. For six weeks, you bombed Belgrade, our capital city. We lived in hell. But you did not break our spirit. In under two hours from now, London will suffer, as Belgrade once did. Christ, he's gonna bomb London. Kenzie. You helped them hack into that blackjack before. I want you to do it again. I can give you a, a big empty mountain a uh, hundred miles north. Mackenzie, as quick as you can. Okay, give me a second. Flight control's active. <laughs> Mackenzie, focus on the bomber. <laughs> You two follow him. You two with me. Getting a little sketchy out there. How are we doing? Who's this? Kenzie. It's a good super hacker. Oh. Hi. You got a weapon? I need you. Okay, Mr. Where are you? I'm on. Ratchet, we are losing height. What's going on? General Ratchet? This is flying the ointment. We're changing the flight plan. I'm the girl that your boss tried to drown in the pit. when you crashed Air Force One into the ocean? You Russian meddling whore. I don't know. The general wouldn't like you deserting your post. Dragutin's on that plane. 
Seconds. Yeah, we, we don't really have 60 seconds. I can lock the autopilot. Go, go, move! Let's go. You think you have achieved something. You think you have made a difference. You're wrong. Dragotin will have his revenge. I doubt that. And there's not enough left of your general to have a funeral. Translate for me! Drop them on your knees now! On your knees! Better late than never. Messed up the place. Good. Good job. Mr. Romero. <clears throat> Colonel. Thank God one bona fide American helped rescue the president. Not just one Brit and some Irish renegade. Please, it was my patriotic duty. Actually, Colonel. I'm sure after Miss Romero has filed her report, it'll look like you Americans pulled this off without any outside help. So, what's the news on Dragutin? Well, he's dead. We were tracking his airplane thanks to that batshit crazy speech he was broadcasting. French Air Force was about to intercept him when he hit the Swiss Alps going Mach 2. Now we picking up that son of a bitch with a vacuum cleaner. And yours? His name was Mackenzie. Guten was holding him prisoner. Forced him to hack into the flight systems of Air Force One and that Russian bomber. That kid killed a lot of people. He saved a lot of people, too. I'd like him repatriated. Well, Mr. Featherstone, since President Roundtree seems to think that the sun shines right out of your ass, you could do about anything you want. And Mr. Merrill?
Yeah. Why didn't you tell Parma about me? Channel 7 Plus News or the Lubyanka, the Kremlin? So this horse walks into a bar. Not only must justice be done, it must also be seen to be done. I was supposed to bring your Guten back alive. Well, hey, uh, we're alive and he's dead. That kind of seems like justice to me. Although, we'll make it that much more difficult to find out who Draguten's friends in the Kremlin were. So uh, the Yanks have offered us a lift back to London. You coming? Uh, thanks. I, I should report back to the tribunal in The Hague. Well, uh, Fergus, it's been fun. Yeah. So, uh, how does one get in touch? Are you call Channel 7 Plus News or the Kremlin? Hmm. How about I just, uh, call you? <clears throat> Hello. I'll see you guys around. You know, you, you know, should really, uh... Sorry, what? No, yeah, that yeah, doesn't matter. Well, goodbye, Captain Marky. Yeah. All right, Featherstone. See you around. Uh, you are the least useless Brit I've ever worked with. You are definitely the most dangerous Irishman I've ever met. Looks good on you, Nadia. Sorry we can't be a little bit more public, but you know how the internet is about showing things that should not be seen. Thank you, Minister. I understand that you're quite a celebrity over there. And that Hollywood is fighting for the movie rights. Incredible. <laughs> Minister, what about the conspiracy in the FSB? I mean, someone in this department betrayed me to Dragoon. I know, Nadia. I'm so sorry. It was my assistant, Liaj. He was the ringleader. We have his confession, not in writing, but it will not happen again. He shot himself.
Now I understand that your news network had given you a holiday. Leave of absence, yes. You need to be somewhere where you can relax and unwind. Minister, no, really, I can't. Agent Siri, I insist. A token of my personal gratitude. It would hurt my feelings if I had to make it an order. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Thank you. somehow seems correct that we're standing here on this new airplane to thank you for saving so many lives. And on a personal note, thank you very much for saving mine. Wow. Thank you, Madam President. Well, congratulations, Featherstone. Ms. Barry, you have an outstanding employee here. Stephen? Whenever you are in the United States, I hope you will give us a visit. Thank you, Madam President. I will. Well, I wouldn't pack your tuxedo just yet, Featherston. You're hardly likely to be posted to Washington after the mess you left at the consulate. Well, I wasn't counting on an assignment to Washington, ma'am. London will do very well. Oh, would it? Because you are being reassigned. But not to London. To Rome. Rome. Mm. Oh, Featherstone. Try not to attract so much attention to yourself this time. Hmm? Oh, and well done. Paperwork when you bring him back alive. I'm gonna need your security pass too. My pass before? Thanks to you, there are no Yugoslav war criminals left to catch. The tribunal task force is being wound up. Hold on. They're making me redundant? Well, come on, you know the rules. The old unit takes you back. The tribunal's grateful for all your hard work. Hell, I'm grateful for all your hard work. Financial cuts. Your ID card, please. You know, the Russians and the Yanks, they're gonna give me medals. Oh, sorry, Fergus. You finally caught the guy. Couldn't keep up his old bait and switch routine forever. Again with the bait and switch routine? How many times do you think that was gonna work? You are the puppets of NATO, and the US, and the Catholic Church. I will rip the heart out of Europe, the way NATO ripped the heart out of Serbia. I, Dragutin, I pass sentence on you. You think you've made a difference? You're wrong. Dragutin will have his revenge. Our vengeance will be so deadly. Our enemies will rue the day. They dare to defy us! <laughs> Nora, all pale. I'll be in touch. I know that look, Fergus. Marky!
I recommend the Coda alla vaccinata. Anderson, what are you doing in Rome? How did you find me? I have my sources. They told me a notorious Russian spy was in town. Really? Anyone I know? You put me in a compromising position, Nadia. Oh, Steve, and I thought that was your favorite position. So what are you doing in Rome, exactly? Well, since you ask, I'm on vacation. I wish I could believe that. You still don't trust me. No. Son of a bitch was never on that plane. Marky, what, what the hell's going on? Guten's alive. No, Marky, Dragutin is decorating a mountain in Switzerland. No, they're still working on remains and DNA. But, but he broadcasts that speech from the plane. That's just the thing. Why hijack a stealth bomber and then broadcast a signal so everyone can see you? He wanted us to think he was on that plane. He wanted it to get shot down. Dragutin is alive, I'm telling you. And he's here, in Rome, right now. I know it. Have you tried calling the White House about this? I don't treat people won't return my calls. I think I'm obsessed. You don't say. Look, I know how crazy this sounds. No, I don't think you do. How many of those warheads did they recover from the wreckage? I, I mean, they're in like 10 million pieces. Dragutin took one off the plane, a thermobaric warhead big enough to pulverize a city. Marky, Dragutin tried to bomb London and we stopped him. Yes, but London is not the heart of Europe. Rome is. I found the ashes of a postcard just like this in Dragutin's castle. The, the Sistine what? Chapel? So you're saying Dragutin's alive and wants to blow up the Vatican? Even if that were possible, why, why do it now? Why here? Dragutin swore he'd avenge the NATO bombing of Belgrade. That was 20 years ago. Yeah, 20 years ago tonight. Why on earth would Dragutin target the Vatican? He thinks the Catholic Church is a part of a worldwide conspiracy against Serbia. But the Vatican is surrounded by a 75-foot wall, and you can't even get a nail file past their security. It would be easier to get a bomb on Air Force One. Okay, it's not a good example. Guys, guys! I think I'm making this up. No, I just think you have too much time on your hands. Guys, can you just shut up for a second? Look. What if Dragutin doesn't actually need to get into the Vatican? What, what if he just needs to get under it? You gonna tell me where we're going? You'll see. to a church. Yeah, there's a huge amount of ancient tunnels underneath Rome, built by the early Christians. Uh, scusi? Si, prego. Uh, sotterranei. I sotterranei sono chiusi, mi dispiace. What did he say? Grazie. The entrance to the catacombs is over here, but he said it's closed for restoration.
No, if we come out in the Pope's bedroom, I'm not taking the blame. Fine, you were right. You don't need to look so smug about it. Okay, look, one of us needs to go back and raise the alarm. As soon as we call the cops into a group, we'll be trapped down here. He'd rather send us bomb off than surrender. Okay, so uh, what you got in mind? Let me guess. You want the three of us to take him on unarmed. You have another strategy to suggest? I'm all ears, Featherstone. Is that really you, Marquis? 
You didn't really think I'd fall for that same old trick, did you, Arkady? So no matter how many times you are whipped and beaten, you keep yapping at my heels! If you come quietly, I'll tell the tribunal you cooperated. Yeah, but be honest. This is not about the tribunal. This is about you and me! But I know why you are here. You are here because you want to avenge your friends and those little Croatian bastards. And you know, I am glad you are here because I never had time to thank you for rounding them up for me. Stay down. Got your detonator, Arkady! And I have the Englishman! If you're looking for a swap, you're gonna have to do better than that! <laughs> and I have the Russian girl. If you don't care about him, maybe you care about her. No, don't hurt her, please! You make, you make a very nice couple. Maybe you want them for yourself, eh? Give me the detonator. I kill the Englishman for you. And I give you the Russian slaps. Marky, you have 20 seconds! Marky, go! Just leave us! I want both of them. Marky. Give me the remote detonator, or I will set this bomb off myself right now. Rome will be blown to dust, and you and your friends will all die with us. Okay, General, you win. You let my friends go, and you give us two hours to evacuate the city. Marky, for God's sake! You're a soldier. You say you're a man of honor? Okay. I believe you. You give me your word. And I'll give you the detonator. Okay. One hour. Give you my word. One hour. Pull the ceiling! 
No, 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 no time. For, forget, forget it. Hurry. Come on. As soon as he's out of range, Dragutin is going to detonate the bomb. I know he is. Then why did you give in? I was trying out what you taught me. Diplomacy. Diplomacy? Knowing how to push people's buttons. Fifteen seconds to safe altitude. Close enough. I wanted him to take the detonator. <laughs> I swore I'd take that bastard back alive. Then I thought... That's right. Aiden Siri, welcome home. You're truly a phenomenon. I'll have to strike a new medal in your honor. <laughs> Much the Sorry. Is it healing okay? Uh, yes, thank you, Minister. Although I, <laughs> I think I may need another vacation to recover from the last one. If I had known what Dragujin was planning, I would have bought you a ticket to the Maldives. Believe me. I, uh, I wish I could. I'm sorry? We know that someone in the Kremlin was helping Dragotin. Someone told him my identity. Gave him the codes to the warheads. Legend, my assistant. We knew this. He shot himself. Well, actually, there was a, a second autopsy on Myershun. I wasn't informed of this. No powder burns were found on his skull, no residue on either hand, and they estimate that he was shot from a distance of three meters. You told me to bring any evidence I found directly to you, so I am. I uh, picked Dragutin's pocket while he was holding me prisoner, hoping to find a gun, but uh, this has actually turned out to be a lot more useful. Guess who the general has on speed dial? You know, when I called and asked you for help, the only men that showed up were Dragoons. You knew what he was planning in Rome, and you sent me there to die so I couldn't expose you. Look, you're the one who wants a war in Europe and catastrophe in Russia, so you could save the Russian people and become president for life. You fooled the Americans. You fooled the British. You even fooled me.
Nadia, you've been under a lot of stress. I sent you to Rome because I felt a holiday might help you. Clearly, it hasn't. From this moment on, you will be relieved of your duties. Oh no, it's not me who's to be relieved of duties. Now, why do I get the impression that you're not telling me everything, Featherston? Because I don't know everything, ma'am. Right, well, this is awkward. <clears throat> it appears that I have misjudged you, Featherston. You did an outstanding job in Rome and in Serbia, and I owe you an apology. Do you remember Irena Burak? Excuse me? Irena Burak. The FSB agent who warned you about the Kremlin conspiracy. She was wrong about who was behind it, but close enough for the conspirators to want me dead. You sent me to Serbia and then to Rome. And both times, Dragutin tried to have me killed as a favor to an old friend. It appears that old friend was Russian Defense Minister Dmitry Kaczynski. How long have you been taking orders from him? Kaczynski was arrested this morning. He's been cooperating fully with FSB inquiries. Enthusiastically, in fact. It's not what you think it is. Please. Try the shepherd's pie here, it's made of real shepherds. <laughs> Hi, Marky. Hello, Francesca, you're looking good. Well, thank you, you're looking pretty good yourself. Now I meant your shoulder is, is healing well. A nice tan. How did you get so terrible at paying compliments? <laughs> did, did you take classes for that? You look beautiful, Francesca. Thank you. <laughs> Guess I'm not as good at compliments as Featherstone is. Well, that's why they can mean more coming from you. Is it taken? Nadia, you look absolutely stunning. Featherstone, I'm surprised you made it. Thought you'd be busy stamping visas. Yes, I thought you might be busy catching Yugoslavian war criminals. None left. It's official. Ah, so you're you're unemployed. Well, I was thinking of going freelance anyway, so. It's a good idea. You know, strip clubs will always need bouncers. <laughs> yes, they do, for customers like you. God, can you two ever <laughs> just be nice to each other? Or, or do you actually need someone shooting at you? Okay, we can stop. <laughs> well, the two of us are busy anyway this afternoon. We are? Yes, uh, the Six Nations final. Ireland versus Italy, grandstand seats. <clears throat> a, a, a rugby match? Yes, and, and afterwards you can uh, have a few gallons of Guinness and a punch up in a pub. You know, I was gonna get a third, but then I thought you might consider going. Well, it's very considerate of you, Marky, but we actually already have plans. Puccini, tonight, at Il Teatro Constanza, followed by dinner for two at La Tavola de D'Angeli. You know, if you want to bore the girl to death, just talk to her. <laughs> you know, culture, Marky, isn't something that merely grows behind your ears. Okay, guys, please, come on. Fine. We'll let Nadia choose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, wait, wait a second. I'm not, I'm not. Do you really think that's a good idea? 
You can't take a little competition? No, I just would hate to see you get hurt. That's all. Mm. Please, can you guys, just Nadia, please don't, Nadia, don't. Nadia, Nadia, Leatherstone is tougher than he looks. He can take a little rejection. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Nadia, Bella, Sasha. <laughs> hey, darling. Hello. Mm. So, uh, Fergus, Stephen, I'm really sorry, but, uh, I, I can't go. I have, I have plans. But, uh, I was thinking, why don't, uh, why don't you take Stephen to the rugby match, and you can take Fergus to the opera, and, uh, I'll see you guys around. Ciao, ragazzi. How long do we keep up this girl-on-girl -girl act? Until they stop staring. They're still staring. Good. <laughs> 